One protester has been shot in the chest with live ammunition and at least 15 people are in hospital. Thousands of demonstrators took to the streets in defiance of a ban on protests and were met with police firing tear gas and live rounds. The demonstrations took place as the Chinese government staged a huge military parade in Beijing. Our diplomatic correspondent Paul Adams reports. One anniversary, two reactions. While Beijing celebrated, Hong Kong was once again full of defiance. It began peacefully enough, protesters filling the streets to mark what they see as a black day, rejecting the Communist Party and its leadership, appealing to the international community to support their calls for democracy. Official slogans were torn down, set alight. Organisers have called this a day of grief. It was a day of violence too, and rage, among the worst so far. All over the city, hardcore protesters confronted the police. The response, volleys of tear gas and rubber bullets. One clash outside government offices, witnessed by BBC correspondent Stephen McDonnell. They're moving now up the stairs to try and reach where the police are. Charging forward. The protesters are hoping that they have the numbers, but the police are continually firing at them. Round after round of rubber bullets and tear gas. And now the protesters are retreating. There have been too many rubber bullets fired, too much tear gas. And there was worse. In the market town of Suenwan, a policeman pulled out a pistol and shot an 18-year-old protester at point-blank range. The protester is now in hospital in critical condition. This was always going to be a day of high emotion, but as the authorities in Beijing spoke of peaceful reunification, the reality on the streets of Hong Kong was very different. Paul Adams, BBC News.